India is a rapid growing economy. Our country is world's third most powerful nation. Every nation has its challenges. While on one hand, technology has grown rapidly. It has given rise to acts of violence and terrorism. Vision of National Center for Excellence in Technology for Internal Security is to address technology innovations or internal security forces through interdisciplinary and applied research. The center will leverage the existing expertise that exists in IIT Bombay and nurture research projects with state and central police forces and industry as stakeholders. NCETIS is a much needed initiative of IIT Bombay for empowering Indian law enforcement, security and intelligence agencies to empower them to perform their mission of upholding the rule of law, protecting the country and its citizens and supporting economic and social progress. So NCETIS is an effort to uh, make available security devices for our paramilitary and security forces. Very often, several devices when procured from outside are very exorbitant and we are not able to procure them in adequate numbers so that our forces uh, get them in the numbers that they would ideally want. We have identified the needs of our Jawans on the field who are handling Nexel Maoist problems and we have approached various academic and research institutes that considering our needs, considering the needs for equipment of our men on field, please uh, make equipment specific to them. IIT Bombay is one of the premier technological research and development institutes of India. NCETIS or the National Center of Excellence in Technology for Internal Security focuses on developing technologies to meet internal security challenges. NCETIS will work in tandem with manufacturing and create resources for the forces through its R&D. This is the Handel Explosive Detector which we have developed under the project NCETIS. The purpose of this is to have a device which can be deployed in the field and which detects the trace amount of explosives in air. Right now, this is capable of detecting RDX and TNT and the target here is to bring in ammonium nitrate, nitromethane and peroxides which are commonly used by the antisocial elements currently. NCTIS project has brought in the possibility of taking this science forward and bringing it to the users. And particularly in this case, the users are the security agencies through the technology development stage into a full, full prototype which might be used by the security agencies. All these are based fundamentally on optical fiber based sensors which we have been working in our lab for the past 10 years. My group at IIT Bombay focuses on thermal imaging applications based on compound semiconductor technologies like gallium arsenide and gallium antimonide. The main application of these images are for night vision, medical diagnostics, and we were the first ones in the country to demonstrate a complete indigenous thermal imager of 320 by 256 capacity. Here we have two boards as user equipments like walkie-talkie system. Currently, we can make a point-to-point -point call between these two devices. We can also make a conference call via a control center to transmit common information in case of emergency situations amongst multiple users. We are building remotely operated vehicles for the internal security forces of the country. These remotely operated vehicles are meant to be controlled by an operator who will be stay at a location far away from the suspicious objects. That object can be an improvised explosive device. This vehicle will approach the suspicious object, remove it to a safe location 
and give audio and visual feedback to the trained person. TRPF के नक्सल विरोधी अभियान के दौरान आरडीएक्स जैसे विस्फोटों की खोज करना और उसे निष्क्रिय करना एनसीटीस द्वारा बनाए गए उपकरण बहुत ही कार्यक्षम है। Working on a backpack carried remotely operated vehicle. Uh, which will be used for detecting and diffusing bombs and IEDs in both urban setting and cross-country setting. This is a platform which will have a robotic arm and would be able to uh, fit in any kind of payloads or sensors like mine detection sensors, ground penetration radars, thermal cameras and active payloads like disruptors and water jet cannons. The unmanned aerial systems are playing a very important role in the security. So, and CRPF have posed a problem that they need a solution for communication node. So we are looking for a fixed wing aerial vehicle which can fly higher, which can work as a communication node within a limited area. This is the friend and foe identification device being developed at the center. This will be used by Indian Coast Guard to find out intruders and to help our Indian fishermen in the time of distress. This device also provides the real-time location of the boat and it helps them in ensuring they are not crossing international borders. Our objective is to analyze them from a surveillance perspective using some automated techniques. We start tracking people by first detecting them and then looking at how they move over time. And later this information of track people is used to analyze their activity. Uh, basically, latent fingerprints are the residual fingerprints at crime scenes. So, uh, if we use the automatic, currently available automatic fingerprint recognition system, so that will not help for that purpose. So, we require some sophisticated enhancement techniques. And our biometric group is mainly working on the enhancement process of the latent fingerprint. NCETIS is currently interacting with CRPF, SPG, NTRO, NATGRID, NSG, DSCI, State Police Forces, and BPRND. This center of excellence Having identified our needs is helping us to develop the equipment which we badly need for internal security. We have been apprised by the NCTS about these instruments to be inducted into CRPF. We'll definitely have an advantage of it while combating with antisocial elements. Our jawans will be on the ground with more confidence with this kind of cutting edge technology. The formation of NCTS at IIT Bombay is a welcome step and it is equally SPG and all security forces to find individual solutions to research and development. NCTIS is an example of multidisciplinary research. Uh, similar kinds of centers have been set up by the institute in many different areas where the expertise of faculty and students from different departments is brought together to address problems of industry and society. I am confident that NCTIS will not only meet the specific capability gaps of Indian police, but will transform its very culture of technology adoption and application. Internal security has distinct requirements in terms of complexities and challenges than those of armed forces. Therefore, a different approach would be essential. This center is geared towards addressing this long felt need. NCETIS is a step towards Digital India.